Can you imagine Bollywood megastar Shah Rukh Khan promoting a small shop in your city? Is Diwali aap bhi na apne paas wale fashion of emporium se hi? In fact, doing ads for thousands of small shops all over India? We made it possible for every retailer in the country to create a video ad for themselves of like a big celebrity endorsing their shop. This became reality thanks to generative AI advertising. Generative advertising means you no longer need to record every single piece of advertising. You can use the recent breakthroughs in generative AI technology and use people's digital clones to create hundreds of thousands of video ad creators. In a campaign for the Hindu Festival of Lights, Diwali, AI startup Rephrase partnered with an international advertising agency and shot a short video with megastar Shah Rukh Khan. After training an AI model with this footage, the startup created a platform where small shop owners could produce their own Shah Rukh Khan advert and more than 100,000 entrepreneurs took advantage of that. Royal Fashion Se Hi, NK Clots Se Hi, Paswali Lakshmi Collection Se Hi. The world of advertisement is changing. Thanks to AI, ads will be able to feature people that look more common for the region you live in without reshooting the video. And you could even see celebrities rising from the dead to star in a commercial. I was born at an interesting time for Britain in 1874. AI commercials will also change what content you get to see. This can be combined with user data and then lead to what experts call hyper-personalization. In the past, we would have TV advertisers produce one TV spot for a whole country. With social media, advertising has become more personalized and targeted, addressing certain groups. But with the help of AI, ads can target just one person, you. It's going to be a hyper-personalized one-to-one targeting video instead of using the same video ad creative and, and sending it to everyone. As fascinating as this new technology is, the risks are obvious. Let's say a company has the right to create a digital twin of a celebrity. How do they make sure this twin won't be used for another purpose? Rephrase AI, a company which turns text into video, checks every text input they receive. But Ashray Mahotra points out that it's always the creator who is responsible for how the software is used. Is this enough to convince celebrities that their digital reproduction is safe and won't be used in other contexts? What do you think? Will this tech help make ads more relevant for you? Or will celebrity endorsements completely lose their meaning?